हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू राइट अ गुड लिटरेचर रिव्यू व्हेन वी आर डूइंग रिसर्च इन वन और अदर वे वी हैव टू राइट लिटरेचर रिव्यू वेदर एज अ न्यू रिसर्च पेपर रिव्यू पेपर और एज पार्ट ऑफ आर रिसर्च और एज पार्ट ऑफ आर थीसिस चैप्टर वेदर दैट इज आर मास्टर थीसिस और आर डॉक्टर थीसिस वी हैव टू राइट a lit good literature review or we have to write a literature review so in today's lecture we will discuss how we can make this literature review good how can we can write a good literature review because literature review is not just a listing of some related research paper it is a technique it is a art to write a literature review so in today's lecture we will discuss how to write a good literature review before discussing how to write a good literature review we will check what is exactly the literature review is literature review is critical description of the literature relevant to a particular research this is a critical description relevant to a particular research or we can say that the literature review is an account of what has been published of on a topic or what has been published on a topic on, is uh, literature review is an account of what has been published on a topic of accredited scholar and researchers purpose of writing literature review in writing a literature review our purpose is to convey to reader what knowledge and ideas have been established on a topic and what their strength and weakness are what have been established on the topic till date we will discuss in our literature review but with the purpose why they that has been done and what is left behind as a piece of writing the literature review must be defined a guiding concept for example what your research objective is the problem or issue you are discussing or your are argumentative thesis it is not just a descriptive list of the material available i have already told you or a set of summaries it it should be related to your research how this literature review is related to your research how it will work in your research next is context what should be the context of the literature review the a literature review can be appear as a part of the research paper introduction i have already told you a part of a thesis or thesis chapter introduction or a section in the research proposal to write an effective literature review we need to understand its relation with other parts of an introduction such as motivation contribution implication of for further research by motivation i mean overall motivation to study a particular set of problem it can include a few citation of a survey a book or some authoritative general references or it includes also a research question or a thesis statement this should be the motivation now what is contribution contribution means once you have provided evidence that there are holes in knowledge in the current state of the art you should present specific problem that are addressed in the paper precisely filling those gaps those gaps which are addressed earlier how the gaps are filling in the paper this should be included in review implication of further research once the state of art has been presented you present possible ideas or theories that you can use to fill the existing gap what ideas and theories are here to fill the existing gap that is the implication for further research skills what are the skills besides enlarging knowledge about the topic writing a literature review let us gain and demonstrate skills in two areas there should be some skills that should be gained in two areas first one is information seeking and second one is critical appraisal what is 
Information seeking. By information seeking, we means the ability to scan the literature efficiently using manual or computerized method to identify a set of useful articles or book. What are uh, what are the articles or books that are useful in the particular topic? Those should be identified. Means information about the topic should be gathered. Then we should start our review. Second one is critical appraisal. It means the ability to apply principle of analysis to identify unbiased and valid studies. We should I, we should apply some principles of static analysis to those paper we have those paper books or journals we have collected in uh, earlier. How, they should um, they should be measured at a particular scale at the same scale. Then only we can we will be able to write good literature review. There are some necessary requirements for literature review. A literature review must do the things. It should be organized around the related around organized around and related directly to the thesis or research questions you are developing. Means if you are writing a literature review, that should be organized to your particular problem directly. It should not go here and there. Second, synthesize result into a summary of what is and is not known. Summary should be like this. What are the advantage? What is known till date? And what is left to the future work? Identify areas of controversy in the literature. What are the areas that are controversial in the literature? And formulate questions that need further research. For, um, the research that has not been done to the topic till date, that should be formulated in your literature review. There are some sources of literature review. First one is thesis, the dissertation, specialized magazines, other sources include newspaper and internet, journal articles, books, conference proceeding, government or corporate research. What by thesis and dissertation I mean they can be useful sources of information. However, they can be difficult to obtain. Parts of research presented may have to be treated with caution. Second one is specialized magazine from where you can collect the material. These are the sources of literature review. Sometimes they, these can these are considered as reputable as a journal. Magazines are considered also considered as reputable as a journal. Other types of magazine can be provide a good starting point to find more reputed work. Other source include newspaper and internet. These can point you to the more reputed sources in general avoid citing them directly in your literature review next is journal articles these are surveys research papers these they provide technical up-to-date information about a research topic books recent research monograph can be useful in your literature review do not include citation of test book not in your literature review, but you can use them in later section of your paper. Conference proceeding, they provide information about the latest unpublished research. In general, less reliable than a journal paper. Always cite the journal paper version if available. Otherwise, you can cite the conference proceeding. Government or corporate reports, depending on, the, on your field of study, can be useful source of information they may outline general research lines a particular organization is interested in funding questions a literature review should answer there are some questions that must be answered by a literature review first one is what do we already know in the immediate area concerned Whatever be your area, your literature review itself answer what we already know about that area. What are the characteristic of the key concept or the main factors or variable? What are the characteristic of that particular area or the key concept we are using till date? What are the main factors that affect your area? Area. What are the relationship between these key concept factors and or variables how these key concept and factors are related to each other that literature review should answer must answer what are the 
complementary existing theory or approaches what the other complementary theory and approaches are existing for that particular topic these questions must be answered by literature review so we have characterized literature review in two parts first is a good literature review and the bad literature review what are the characteristic of a good literature review it should group similar information similar type of information should be grouped by this literature review it shows the relations between different works whatever the different works have been uh, done till date for that particular topic for your particular topic it should show the relation between those work how the one is improved uh, over the other how the results are improved it should show it is organized following the outline presented earlier it should be organized as i have given the outline earlier it is organized around ideas and not the researcher yeah this is the main point your literature review should be organized around the idea it should not just be a listing for the author name you have organized this by the suppose one author have write five papers re related to the topic it should not be uh, at the one, one at one place it should not organize like this you should organize about same topic at the one place means let's say you are uh, uh, doing research in a particular area in which you have mathematical research in which you have algorithmic research in which you have conceptual research so these uh, th the paper should be organized by these area wise application mathematical or conceptual algor algorithmic it should not be like that one author has uh, proposed three of approach one is mathematical one is algorithmic one is conceptual and you have placed them in at one place they should be at different places it should be organized around the ideas then only you can say that your literature review is good what are the properties of a bad literature review it offers a summary of previous research answers questions it does not answer any other question it does not evaluate the summarized research does not show any relationship between theories it only give the summaries organized by listing authors presented using chronological order instead of organized using research i have already told you a chronological order should be avoided it is not critical by critical we mean it is we cannot analyze it we at the same scale it is just a summary it does not relate to the writer's research it does not relate to your own research how it is related is it just have picked some papers some theories and it is summarizing them at last i can say in order to write a good literature review remember that write with a purpose a research problem in mind a research problem should be in your mind means if you are writing a re literature review it your purpose should be clear for what purpose you are writing the literature review select references that are only relevant to your work only refer do, to those papers articles which are relevant to your work don't refer the irrelevant articles establish relationship with different works and your own what you are going to do and what have been done till date it establishes a relationship between them and then write and rewrite again write and rewrite and finally you will get a good paper all the best thank you friends for listening the lecture thanks again